being weird. Oh, bless you. Hello, I'm Hunter, and this is Stella. And if you're watching this, then the world, in fact, did not end in 2012. <coughs> it's enough out of you. Oh, I'll put her down now. Get out of there. <sighs> the Mayans were wrong, or rather, the people who thought the Mayans were right were wrong. <laughs> Which makes sense, because if Mayans were so clairvoyant, uh, wouldn't there still be Mayans? What I find baffling is that there are people that seem genuinely disappointed that the world didn't end. Really? You, you, you wanted the world to end in a ball of flames? And what I find even more baffling is that they think they're the first ones to think the world's going to end, and to be disappointed by the fact that the world did not end. Does that make any sense? Wait, why would a cat sound like a cricket? There have always been nutcases obsessed with the end of all things, and certain beyond a shadow of a doubt that the world is in fact ending. And you know what? They're always disappointed. In fact, let's look at a few such disappointments throughout history, shall we? It's the 1840s, and much of what is now the modern United States is still a collection of unincorporated territories, which is a polite way of saying stolen lands or lands in the process of being stolen. And a Baptist preacher named William Miller, through careful research and biblical scholarship, reckons the world is going to end in a matter of years. Using a passage from the book of Daniel, Miller portends a great rapture, or instant heavenly ascension for the devout, and fiery damnation for the rest of us. Yeesh. And what date did he divine the end to be? October 22nd, 1844. Coincidentally, my mother's birthday. The month and day, not the year. She is not, I repeat, not 168 years old. The word spread, and within a few years, there were thousands of Millerites. Many gave up their farms and businesses, money and possessions, as the divine date approached. One man even threw himself off his barn at midnight, believing the Lord would catch him. But on the morning of October 23rd, it was apparent the world remained intact. This event, or lack of event, became known as the Great Disappointment. Many disillusioned Millerites broke off from the ranks and began to form their own denominations, the best known of which are the Seventh-day Adventists. Humanity has always needed to feel significant. Whatever place and time we're in at this moment is significant to history, to the cosmos. This is rarely the case. Humanity will continue until it doesn't. And we will probably make no difference to the cosmos. The universe will probably not miss us much, if at all. We're all going to die. So let's not look for uh, our destruction. Let's enjoy what time we have left. Mm.